This small pond was a different place some time ago. In fact, there has not been a pond here until a recent time. There used to lay hard gravel on the bone-dry earth. However, a group of diligent workers worked hard, strove painstakingly, and formed this pond. Do you wonder who these diligent workers are? So let's continue watching the film. These industrious workers are pretty animals called beavers. The story of beavers starts with the migration of a male and a female beaver to build a new home for themselves. The beaver couple builds their home on a river. But to do that, they have to block the water flow first. In order to do that, they apply the same method as human beings have applied for centuries. They construct dams. In order to construct the dam, they need to find trunks and branches. Beavers go to wooded areas near a river and set about working. First, they feed on the leaves of the trees they find. Yet their real occupation is cutting down these huge trees. and they do this by gnawing the trunk skillfully. Interestingly, they gnaw the trees in such a way that all trees fall towards the water. The tree falling is the first step of the construction. Then beavers detach the branches one by one from the trees. They arrange them in front of the biggest log that fell and thus start to construct a barrier before the stream. Have you ever noticed that beavers do not use any tools other than their hands and their mouths while carrying out all these tasks? Isn't that great? This work continues perseveringly. Two beavers cut down approximately 400 trees in a year. Beavers use their front teeth to gnaw tree trunks or branches. These front teeth that beavers continuously use wear down in time and sometimes break. How does a beaver gnaw trees then? This is great. Jaws of a beaver are created to be appropriate for gnawing. Their incisors keep growing throughout their lives, just like our nails do. Almighty God, who created beavers, created their teeth so as to be the most suitable for the task they will perform. A beaver's body is convenient for swimming. Beaver's feet are webbed, thanks to which they can easily push the water. 
Their tails are like huge flippers so they can move in the water easily. Beavers carry out the construction perseveringly. Skillfully arranging huge logs and tree branches, they expand the barrier every day. As the barrier gets larger, the water level collected before it rises. As a result of several months' work, huge dam pond forms. But as the pond enlarges, beavers must strengthen and repair the dam. Once again, they display perseverance in fulfilling this hard task. The view that comes out after several months is, in a word, splendid. Beavers have constructed a real dam, similar to those of human beings. People need to be trained and need to study at relevant universities in order to construct a dam. But beavers know how to build a dam at birth. Who taught them this knowledge then? It is Almighty God, the creator of all beings, who gave beavers the skills they possess. The purpose of building this huge dam is to form a pond with still water where beavers can build their home. While constructing the dam, they also build their home at the banks of the pond, close to the shore. Look, it looks like a pile of wood, but be careful, it is in fact a perfectly designed shelter. Now let's see how the inside is designed. The only entrance to the lodge is underwater. A secret tunnel should be passed through for going in. The tunnel leads to an inside chamber which is above the water level. The beaver family lives in this dry and secure chamber. Sometimes they build duplex houses in which there are the entrance and the living room on the first floor and the dining room and the bedroom on the second floor. The houses that beavers build have two underwater entrances and a ventilation channel on the top. Thanks to this marvelous lodge, besides being secure from dangers, beavers also live in comfort. Baby beavers are born in these lodges. Shortly after they are born, they start going out with their parents and knowing about the external world. See how comfortable he is while traveling on his mother's back? Apparently he got tired of swimming. It cannot be said that beavers are very intelligent beings. So how is it that these small and pretty animals design such wonderful lodges and dams? What you have seen in this film is far beyond the intelligence and knowledge of beavers. Defenders of the theory of evolution claim that such animal behaviors demanding knowledge are prompted by instinct. But they cannot explain how this instinct came into existence. 
Certainly all living beings are created by God, and it is Almighty God who makes them behave the way they do. God inspires beavers to construct wonderful dams and lodges. God's mastery over living beings is related in the Quran as follows. Everyone in the heavens and earth belongs to him. All are submissive to him.